Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Multi-Window Marketplace plugin. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out some of the features that we have added into the Magento 2 Multi-Window Marketplace itself. These are some of the updated features. So some of the features that we have added are, we have added inline edit for product list in seller and admin and grid. We have allowed sellers to create partial shipment and invoice for their orders. We have allowed sellers to add, edit, delete configurable product attributes under their own account panel and we have added the configuration settings link in the marketplace menu to access the marketplace configuration directly there. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out these uh, four uh, updated features that we have added into the Magento 2 multi Window marketplace there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So the very first feature that we will see is that we have added the inline edit for product list in seller and admin and grid. So first of all, we'll be checking out the admin end. So what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the admin backend panel of the Magento 2 by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. After we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel, there we'll go to the marketplace management and here we'll go to the manage product option. And this would bring up the manage sellers product section. As you can see here, we are having the sellers products uh, being displayed. Uh, with the product names as you can see here now to do the inline edit for product list what the seller uh, or the admin needs to do is he needs to double click here and you can see that uh, the admin would be able to change the price so for example we'll change the price we can change the quantity uh, we can set the product status as enabled or disabled apart from that we can also uh, save this uh, setting save by tapping here on the save button so you'll see that the changes would reflect. So you can see that you have successfully uh, changed the details there. So the price quantity has changed. So to just make the inline edit, you just need to double tap on this particular product of the seller there. And then you can make the changes in the price quantity and you can make the products uh, status as enabled or disabled as per your own requirement there. And then you need to tap here on the save button thereafter. So this is how the admin would be able to do the inline edit for the product list uh, of the uh, sellers there. Now let's hop on to the uh, vendor end and let's see how the vendors would be able to do the same under their own account panel. For that what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the uh, seller account panel by entering the email and the password and tapping on the login button thereafter. After successfully log the, logging in, uh, this is the basically the uh, uh, customer account panel now let me log out of this and uh, I'll log into the uh, vendor account panel there so let me sign out of here and now let me log into the vendor account panel by entering the email address password and tapping on the sign in button so you can see that I've logged into the vendor account panel now what I can do is I can go to my products and my product list this would display the complete list of products that I've added as a window under my own account panel. So here are my uh, products as you can see. So to do the inline edit for the product list what I can do is I can double tap here. And you can see that I can uh, enable or disable the status of the product. I can change the quantity of the product. I can change the price of the product. Apart from that I'll also be able to uh, change the visibility of the product from this particular section itself. So there's no need for the vendor to go to the product edit page and then change the details there. So you can quickly change the product status, quantity, price, visibility of the product as per your own requirement there. Now let me come back, come down and let's go up. So from here we can enable or disable the product status. We can change the quantity for example. Uh, let's set it to 10 uh, let's change the price there let's set it to 75 and let's tap here on the save button thereafter so you can see that we have successfully changed the details there the quantity is 10 now let me tap here on the cancel button uh, so that's how the vendors would be able to uh, 
quickly do the inline edit for the product list under the own account panel. Now the other feature that we have incorporated uh, within the Magento to Multimedia Marketplace is that we have allowed the sellers to create partial shipment and invoice for their orders. Now for that what I'll do is I'll just go to the front end and let me refresh the page here. What I'll be doing is I'll be adding a few quantity of the product into the cart there. For example, uh, we have this particular product that's the blue coat. Let me go back. And what I'll do is I'll be adding few quantities of the blue coat to the card there. So I've added one, two, three, and four. So basically the vendors would now be able to create partial shipments and invoice for their orders. For example, the customer has placed the order for four quantities there for the coat product. Let's go ahead and let's place the order for the uh, particular product there as a customer our shipping address has already been selected here we are having four quantities of the product and we have selected the shipping method as fixed rate let's tap here on the next button now let's tap here on the place order to place the particular order for the seller's product that's the coat product or the blue coat that we have added into the cart there so we'll be placing an order for the same and we are having four quantities of the same so the order has been placed and the order number is 21 in the last as you can see. Now let's go to the marketplace vendor end and let's go to the orders section. Here we'll be able to see the complete list of orders that have been placed for the seller's products. And here you can see that uh, here we have the order number 21. Here we also have the order number 20 and here you can see that the actual order quantity was uh, 4 but the seller has only invoiced 2 and shipped 2 uh, products. Uh, to the customer's address there now uh, let me open the order here and let me show you how we can generate the uh, partial shipment and the invoice for the orders so I'll go ahead and I'll tap here on the invoice button if you can see here we have ordered four quantity actually so let's uh, invoice uh, for may let's create an invoice for only two so I'll scroll down so here you can see that we have the quantity to invoice section so here if you want you can uh, generate the invoice for all of the four quantities at the same time or you can go ahead and you can update the quantity to two and tap here on the save invoice button to save the particular invoice or the partial invoice for the order itself. So this would uh, basically generate the invoice so if I go to the invoices invoice has been created so here you can see that for only two products the invoice has been created. Now if I go back, let's go back to the particular order there. So I just go to the order section once again and here I'll tap on the order. So here you can see that the ordered quantity was 4, invoice has been created for 2. Let's create the shipment. So on the shipment page if I scroll down I have to enter the carrier name for example DHL. I'll enter the tracking number. I'll scroll down. And here you can see that we can create the shipment for all of the four quantities there or if I want to uh, do it for only partial shipment I want to create a partial shipment for this order then I can set it for two or one so I'll set it as two and I'll tap here on the submit shipment button now this would generate uh, the partial shipment for the order so now you can see uh, the shipment has been created and we had ordered four quantity only two uh, quantities have been invoiced and two quantities have been shipped. Now uh, for example uh, this helps you uh, helps the vendors in such situations for example wherein for example you have only two quantities at the uh, uh, at the uh, time now and uh, for now you have only two quantities so you can invoice the two quantities and you can ship the two quantities so whenever you are getting back the uh, quantities uh, for the respective product then you can uh, invoice the rest of the two and you can ship the rest of the two as well so for example now i have the quantity uh, or the stock for the product uh, there now i can go ahead and i can invoice uh, the rest of the uh, products there for the quantities there so for example I want to invoice one so I can update the quantity I can invoice two as well and I can tap here on the submit invoice button to generate the invoice for the rest of the quantities there 
for the particular product that the customer had uh, placed there. As soon as the invoice is generated, we will be able to see the particular details here. Now you can see that we had ordered four. Now we have invoiced four and we can ship two more. So we can go to the ship section, for example, and we can enter the carrier name, for example, DHL. We can enter the tracking number for the same. And if I want to ship only one quantity, that then I can set it as one and I can tap here on the submit shipment. Otherwise, if I want, I can do the shipment for the rest of the two quantities as well as per my requirement. So now you can see that we have invoiced four, we have shipped three. Now, if I want to ship the fourth one as well, I can tap here on the ship one. I can go to the particular section, enter the carrier name, uh, enter the tracking number and tap on the submit shipment button to submit the particular shipment. So this is the feature where we have allowed the sellers to create the partial shipments and invoices for their orders. Now you can see that we have, uh, the customer had ordered four quantity, we have invoiced four quantities and we have shipped the four quantities as well as per the requirement there. Right? Now let's see how uh, we have edited the configuration setting link in the marketplace menu to access the marketplace configuration directly. So for that, let's hop onto the admin backend panel. Now let me cancel this out. And under the marketplace management, if we go to the uh, configuration settings here, uh, you can see that we have the configuration settings. So from here, we can directly tap on the configuration settings and we'll be taken to the marketplace uh, or the Magento to multi marketplace configuration settings. And from here, you can directly configure the marketplace as per your own requirement there. So there's no need for you to uh, first go to stores then configuration, then come down to the web cool block, go to the marketplace and then come to the configuration settings. So now you can directly access the configuration settings from this particular section, that's the configuration settings. Now one more feature has been added under the vendors account panel, that's the, uh, that is that we have allowed the sellers to add, edit and delete the configurable product attributes. So if you go to the vendor account panel, as you can see right now, Initially, uh, we had provided the configurable attribute section under the products. Uh, what would uh, happen is that the sellers would have be able to create the attributes only. They would not be able to edit or delete the attributes for the configurable products there. So now we have provided the option wherein you'll uh, or the sellers would be able to edit and delete the particular uh, attributes that they have created for their configurable products, right? or the configurable product attributes that they have created, they'll be able to edit and delete. So for example, let's add a particular attribute. Uh, let's set it as test one. Test one. We'll choose the input type as drop down. Values are required, yes. Let's set it as test one. Test one. Let's set it as default, right? And let's save the attribute. Now the attribute has been saved, that's the test one attribute. And uh, if I go back by tapping here on the back, we'll be able to see this particular attribute being listed here on the vendor's end and the vendor can see the test one as well. So here's the test one as you can see. And here we have one option to edit it or to delete it. If I tap here on the edit, then we'll be able to edit the attribute as per our own requirement there. Let's tap here on the back. Or if you want to delete the attribute, we can delete the attribute as well as per our own requirements. So if I tap here on the select, I can tap here on the delete and the particular attribute would be deleted from the particular section. So here you can see that the attribute has been successfully deleted and the uh, test one has been deleted from this list here. This is another uh, uh, test attribute that we had created that is WER. Uh, so we can edit it up and delete it up as well. Now one more thing is that at the admins end, we have uh, provided one section with the name vendor attributes. So whichever uh, configurable product attributes that the vendors have created under their own account panel when navigating to products and configurable attributes, those attributes would be visible under the manage configurable attributes at the vendors end. So you have to navigate to marketplace management and vendor attribute that would bring up the, this particular list and here's the attribute that the seller had created as you can see created by John Doe and the same is visible here. So yes, that was much about the new updated features that we have added in the Magento to Multimedia Marketplace that include 
that we have added the inline edit for the product list in seller and admin and grid. We have allowed the sellers to create partial shipments and invoice for their orders. We have allowed sellers to add, edit and delete the configurable product attributes. And we have added the configuration settings link in the marketplace menu to access the marketplace configuration directly. So yes, that was much about this particular video tutorial for the Magento to multi vendor Marketplace updated feature. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.